early in the morning. Sun just came up. I'm going to need you to crank up quietly. First cold start. Do not wait the neighbors. Uh, that actually wasn't too bad at all. But now that I think about it, do I really like my neighbors? Not really. Let's wake them up. Let's go crank up the 392. All right, all right. Now you, you don't have to be quiet. You be your usual self. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Clutch 392, and we are back. Today, we're going to be doing our first modification. It is going to be getting rid of this fishbowl look on this car i can't keep riding around like this guys i mean yeah it's nice to be able to see out and have all your visibility but for people to be able to see in and just stare at me on the road i literally feel like every single red light that i pull up to i look over to the side and this is what i see so that gets real old real fast so we're gonna be dropping some dark tint on here more than likely to be legal i have five percent all the way around on my SRT 392. So that's probably what we'll be going with here. But first, I'm not a morning person. So let's sneak into this Circle K, grab me some caffeine, and then off we go. To the shot we go. But guys, I just realized I have not given you guys a sound clip of this supercharger yet. Let's see if we can get a sneak peek here. Now it's not very loud just yet, still baby in the car, it's still in default mode, no sport mode, no track mode, anything like that. So it will be louder. But let's see if we can hear it here. Windows up. <laughs> Boy. That sounds good. I can, I can only imagine what it's gonna sound like when I reach my 500 miles and I can throw it in the track mode. That's insane. And guys, that is me giving it, I don't know, 20% throttle. But that's enough of that, that's for a future video. Can't give you guys too much right now. All right, we are here. So they're actually not even open yet. My appointment isn't for another 30 minutes, I believe. But you know what they say, the early bird gets eaten by the worm. What? Or some stupid crap like that, I don't know. Let me show you guys the outside of this car, get you some before and after footage. So for the front, man, um, so I was gonna do 5% all the way around. And for the front, um, see how this piece right there comes down? Yeah. I think I think that might be a little too low for a strip. What do you think? think? It'll actually come down even further and come to the edge. Oh, then no, uh, then we won't go that far then. Whatever you think's best, bro. You, you the pro, <laughs> you, do, you do your thing, bro. Two hours later. Yeah. I appreciate that, bro. Let me show you up underneath the hood real quick. Yeah, you, awesome. you guys actually did another car of mine. I got another SRT. It's um, okay. It's it's. I remember that. I thought you looked familiar. I remember. Yeah, it. it's yeah, a. We talked about that one too. Yep, it's a red chameleon, a red oh, camo. Yeah, I still God got it. Look, you looking on one. Golly! Check it out. What? Last call bad. Oh, so. Shit. There'll never be any more. No. Dude, like, hang on to this thing. Oh yeah, my man. gosh. So it came with the green belt, a little red eye there for the supercharger. So it's the exact same motor out of the Demon, but Dodge tuned it down one horsepower, which is... You will never exactly. Notice. When you're on that, up at that level, you would never notice it. Ever. Exactly. So this one's 807 horsepower and the Demon is 808. Wow. This is so sick. So sick. But I'm gonna bring this back to you guys. I wanna do like the lighting and everything. Yeah, actually active hooding. So, 
but it's, I only have like 200 miles on it. I, so I think I might be around 300 now, so I can't even get on it yet until 500 miles. Yeah, so. I'm just patiently waiting. What do you think, man? Uh, night and day difference to me. I mean, that orange and black just goes so much better now. I ended up not getting the windshield tinted. I really considered it, man, but I'm pretty sure it's already gonna be hard to see out at night with me not having the perfect vision. Then I darkened that right there up too. And I've seen some other challengers and charges with their windows with the windshield tinted. It looks damn good, but it's just not for me. Never gotten pulled over, not from that car. And I've had that one there 5% all the way around for about six years now. Never got pulled over. I'm hoping to have the same luck here. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. It's definitely not a fishbowl anymore. Just got to get it cleaned up. So until next time, guys, make sure y'all smash that subscribe button. Peace.